set me from tears. I swear you said it all before. You know, it's November, so the only thing I can do is string Christmas music to its Christmas and yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, so... <laughs> um, first of all, yes, I am wearing a onesie and it's like a white one and it's like it's freezing in my room. I'm not kidding, it's like when I breathe there are like, you know, clouds forming, if you know what I mean. But that's really fun. But basically, I am making this video because there is something going on in my life. Well, not right now, but it's coming. That's like really a weird sentence, but basically I am really nervous. And that is because tomorrow is the FAMS concert and I am meeting the FAMS and I am going to the concert. And for me, that's like a really big deal. So I'm basically mentally preparing for that. I haven't slept properly in like days because of this. Um, yeah, you know, I'm a fangirl, so you can't blame me, you know. But I am filming this right now because I. I want to um, kind of like vlog it tomorrow or kind of like make this a whole experience although I have no idea what I'm doing um, there is a kind of like a planning going on so my life is a little bit structured um, but uh, basically I'm packing some stuff right now I have no idea what to bring also I don't have an outfit yet and I'm freaking out because it's tomorrow so yeah that's like great and I'm going on a photo with them so that's like a big deal and that's that's really, that's like, um, yeah, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I, I think I have an idea though, so it will be okay. Oh god, I'm so lost. Like, I, I, ah, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Uh, I can kind of like show you guys what I, what I'm wanting to bring with me uh, for now. Um, well, first of all, it's, it's a book because I need to go on a train for like two hours. So I need to read something, you know, or do something. Uh, I don't know which perfume I'm gonna go bring yet. So I will test that out or something. <laughs> this is ear protection because that's really important, guys. Don't ruin your ears. So yeah, gonna do that. Charger, Dio, gum. And my tickets, obviously. I'm, I'm really scared that I'm gonna forget them. And I'm wanting to bring this bag. I just really hope it's not big enough. Because, you know, if it's too big, you can get in. What, what am I doing with my hand? Blah. So that's that for now. Um, but I'm, I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I probably am. So I will just go to my room, search for some stuff. And I don't know what I'm gonna vlog next. But you will see it in this video. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> This is my outfit. I have a t-shirt with my comfort zone is a clothing market in London. I thought it was really funny with some skinny jeans and the socks, but I have to change those. But yeah, this is it. I think I'm gonna wear this. Yay! I'm so sorry for the bad lighting, but I'm gonna do my makeup right now because, oh my god, I need to look okay for this. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm really ready for this. And I'm really trying... Oh my god, this is so, so sexy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can do it here maybe too. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. That's the only thing I can say. I also painted my nails. <laughs> uh, I never really do that, but you know, I thought why not. I'm not sure if I should put on eyeliner because it's really intense and I don't really know if I like that. So I'm just gonna not do that um yeah i'm so not prepared for this lipstick lipstick i don't know how you say that in english lipstick lipstick yeah that's it okay lipstick i have red and i have pink kinda and i think i'm gonna do pink This is hard, I don't know. Because pink is a little bit less intense. Yeah, okay, so... I'm not gonna record more right now at home because I really need to pack my last stuff and then we go to the train. So you will see my journey and... Yeah, so I'm gonna go right now. So excited. See you in the train, I guess. Okay, so we're in the train right now. I'm going to Amsterdam, what? This is my brother. 
uh, no, but we're going uh, to Amsterdam on a train. I'm in the intercity right now. And yeah, there is no one. So exciting. Last night it's a bit of a and a jas. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god oh my god i i am still in shock and i am so like i i can't believe what happened last night oh my god okay so last night was the concert and i just came back home from traveling back home you know because we slept um, in a hotel last night was the concert i met the fans last night and um i'm just Last night was the best night of my life. It was the best concert ever. And I met the fans, what I said, and they are so lovely. And I'm gonna tell you everything about it because I want to share this experience. And I will show you some videos and I will show you some my, my meet and greet photo, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's just talk about this. I am so excited to tell you about everything. I'm not gonna make it too long though, because you know, that's a little bit boring, but um, wow, I am, I lost it so much. So first of all, we came there at like um, 12 o'clock and that was really early. We were also like, I, I still have it on my hand, FIP number 35. Um, so I was FIP number 35. It was really cold. I've, I've been standing there for like six hours and it was so cold. I couldn't even feel my feet or hands or anything. And then we got inside and I bought merch right away. I can't show you what I bought, but I bought the two t-shirt, the white one. I got the, oh God, I can show you this, wait. Look, the tour book. I got tour book, that's so cool. I wanted the tour book last year, but then they were sold out, so I have it now. And I got a VIP key cord, I can show you that too. Oh my God, I'm so unprepared for this video. I just wanted to share this as soon as possible with you guys. Look, VIP, oh my god, yes! So I got that, and then we uh, got inside what I said, and then we got, uh, like, we had to go on the stair, on the stairs, and then we had to wait, and then the fans were there. Oh my god, they were standing there, there was that, um, I will show you some pictures from my meeting group photo, but there was this, um, thing they have as background, they had it also in the UK tour, um, and then when, when it was my turn, I was, like, shaking. All the time, I was like shaking constantly. So I was like, fuck, I need to like calm down, you know? But when it was my turn, I gave James a hug. First, I gave James a hug, then Connor, then Braden, and Tristan. And I can tell you guys, they are amazing. They are so sweet, they are so kind, and they are, they are like handsome. Even more gorgeous in real life. Um, James was the first one who said like, hey, how are you? I was like, I'm so good. And um, he was really nice. And then Connor gave like a really nice hug. And then Brad, oh my God, he's so small. Um, and he, uh, when they looked at me, I was like, oh my God. And Tristan is so, like, he's the same height as me. Um, he gave a really just, just a basic, you know, just a nice hug. Um, and then, um, you know, I had to give my phone uh, to the person who makes the photos. Um, but I had screen recording, I put screen recording on, but it didn't screen record because she kind of like, or accidentally or on purpose clicked it away, so I don't have to screen record, but it's okay. Lighting was terrible though, I had to edit my photos for more light because you couldn't even see it. Um, I think my meet and greet photo is okay, I just really genuinely loved the experience uh, meeting them. That was like the most important thing for me, so I'm really glad I have the photo and I'm so glad I could meet them. And when I met Brad, uh, he said like, oh I love your shirt, I will show you a picture right now with which shirt I was wearing. This is my meet and greet picture, basically. But he said, oh my god, I love your shirt. I was like, oh, I didn't know what to say. I was like, thank you. And then um, when my turn was like over, 
and I had to, you know, move on because the next one was going to meet them. Um, I was kind of like walking away. I grabbed my phone and I wanted to walk away, but then I turned around because I was like, no, I'm not gonna leave like this. I want to say something. So I turned around and said, oh my God, you guys. And they were like looking at me like, what are you doing? And I was like, I love you guys so much. And they were like, oh, that's so kind and sweet. And oh my God, when I looked at Brad, he, I don't know, it was just, it was so nice and I loved it. I loved it. They are so sweet. They smell nice. Yes, they smell so good. Everyone was saying that to me and it's really true. I can say it. It's true. And, oh, and after that, I was like, my heart was like racing and I had such a good place in the venue. I was like second row. So that was that. That was the first you know, th first part of the of the concert, the meeting part. Um, then the we had to wait for a few um, minutes, well, actually like an hour or something. And then um, we had the support band, who was Eliza and the Beers. <laughs> Really good, really loved them. They were just nice, just jamming, really nice, really cool. Love that, absolutely. But then um, after that, obviously the fans, the band I was waiting for. Um, and oh my God, it was so good. It just started off with the intro of them, you know, just my type intro. <laughs> stage it was surreal it was so weird to see them it was just so cool and Brett was wearing like all black and his hair is so long and I love it and Tristan was wearing his white stuff and they just looked so good you know like I swear to you guys when they were playing um oh what was it just my type I think I, I don't remember anymore but Brett and one song looked at me for a few seconds and I'm sure he looked at me and I know everyone is saying that after a concert like oh my god we locked eyes you know but oh, how, I don't know how you say that but we looked at each other and I swear we did I mean it um, and it was really cool I was like so I was like in shock and they played Cheater my favorite song ever <laughs> played Risk It All, I really wanted to hear that one. They played Missing You. And Waves. <laughs> And it was amazing and they sound so good and last year was amazing but this year absolutely beat it last year it was incredible it was the best night out of my life i have no words uh yeah i really wanted a drumstick or you know a guitar pick or something but um i unfortunately didn't get one but it's okay because i'm just so grateful and thankful for being there it was such a nice atmosphere and everyone was so nice and the songs were great and everyone was singing so loud and i loved it so much it was the best thing ever and i had a few times um through the concert that i was just looking at them like oh my god i cannot believe that you guys are here like playing and doing this and I'm so, I was just so thankful for the moment like well I, I remember while cheating was cheater was playing uh, Cheater is such a, a um, personal song to me when it was playing I was just like looking at them and the feels and my heart was raising and you you feel like the you know the uh, the bass through the ground you know you feel it really in your chest when it's like beating so hard and when that was at that moment I felt so like it was magic it was 
sparks and fireworks and it was so weird and i know it sounds so cringy and like oh my god what are you talking about but it was so insane and i had the best that was like the best feeling ever and i'm i'm just still in shock honestly and then the last song uh was all night <laughs> And that song just always that's like such a good end song you know and it was so good and oh my god brad uh drinked flugel and that's like a dutch local drink And it was so funny and um, I don't know there were just so many funny parts and I, I cannot tell you everything that happened because it's so much and I and I'm just it was amazing I, I cannot explain this in words I don't know how to say it it was amazing it was incredible I it was the best thing ever and yeah when they left I just felt so empty I was like oh my god this was amazing it was so good it was so good oh my gosh to kind of like and this video i'm just so thankful for the fans being in my life uh, they really gave me the best night ever last last night and you know when i'm at a concert of the fans even though it's my second concert of them i just feel i have no worries and i forget about everything that's bothering me and i forget about i forget just about everything and i just can only live in that moment and i can the only thing I can do is sing along with the live just and look at them and feel grateful for having them and feel thankful for for having them in my life and it's just so amazing and everyone deserves to see them live and meet them because they are so genuinely nice and they really care about us and it was the best experience and I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it but it, it was so amazing and I had the best time and I want to thank everyone for also talking to me yesterday because it was amazing i felt so it was just so lovely you know and uh, i want to obviously thank the fans they are never gonna see this but you guys oh my god you guys gave me the world yesterday and it was amazing and i think this is the end of the of the vlog kind of couldn't really vlog i have some i i will put some concert videos in right now how you doing you good <laughs> Bloody gorgeous out there tonight. Saturday night, baby. Woo! It's gonna be the best Saturday night you've ever had. Okay? enjoyed this video and um, if you're gonna see the fans have fun oh my god have fun it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be incredible and uh, yeah that's it so thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you at my next video and yeah that's it bye